All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the DFS experience for Sunday, April 14th. First of all, let me tell you, it's very windy where I'm at, so you're going to have to bear with me. I'm going to try to talk a little bit louder than I usually do, but it is midday. I do have a lot of energy. I am feeling froggy, so my voice will probably be higher anyway. We're going to start with point guard. We got Mr. Brunson, 9.7K. Too cheap, disrespectful, fire him up. I think the Knicks are still playing for seeding, so he's going to play a good 35 minutes minimum. Lillard, not interested in him if he plays. DeJounte Murray, I think they're locked into the playoffs. I don't expect him to play a full run. They're probably going to play 20 minutes uh, first half. You got to be very careful. I know everybody, I know a lot of people, Aren't playing the last week. Understandably so. You don't want to be throwing money away. Unfortunately, or not unfortunately, but I'm in a business where I got to build lineups every single day for every slate. So I can't run from it. Um, the, the thing, if you are going to play, you got to keep your eyes on the starting lineups. You got to keep your eyes on the news all the way up to the last minute. You know, like even with Dallas, what was the information that came out? Some players will only play a half. Some players won't play at all. What does that mean? Dante Exum is unplayable because you know he's injury prone. So you know he's only playing the first half. So he's an automatic fade. Boom. Okay, what's next? Get the next highest use ball handler. Jaden Hardy. Boom. You play him. Like little things like that. You know what I'm saying? That's the difference between having a horrible night and having a having a decent night now it's not easy obviously this last week is not going to be easy or these last few days but if you're gonna play you got to pay attention to the news because there was a lot of lineups last night with Dante Exum and I'm like oh I'm cashing and he started off poorly he's only playing one half and he started off poorly so I already knew I was cashing we ended up having two takedowns one on DraftKings one on we had one on DraftKings, one on FanDuel. I didn't even post. Or I, I reposted some of my lineups, two of them. I didn't even repost everything. That's how much we won last night. It was crazy. Mitchell, 9K, going up against Charlotte. Don't expect him to play 35, 36, 7 minutes. I don't expect that. I don't know why he'd be playing 40 minutes going up against Charlotte. Um, I think that, I don't know. Is that their last game? Um, let me check. Let me check. Um, Cleveland. Cavs. Last game of the season. I don't expect them to play 40 minutes for Donovan Mitchell. I mean, I already know where I want to go on this slate, but certain key players, I'm not going to be. I'm going to be trying to get away from because I know they're not going to be playing four minutes. Maxi, I believe Philly's playing for seeding also. Maxi's an okay play, but I don't play Maxi when Embiid is active. Quickly, going to be very risky playing quickly. Especially knowing that he had a lot of injuries this season. When I say risky, is he going to get his four minutes? Especially against Miami. I'm not interested in quickly at the moment. Scotty Barnes, no thank you. Cam Thomas is in play. I don't know if Brooklyn is trying to see what they have right now, but I know what they don't have, and that's Mikael Bridges. My man has been doing everything but playing hard. Giggling, playing with the other team, laughing and high-fiving, you know, reminiscing and sharing stories. My man, you don't – don't even get – we're going to get to Mikael Bridges in one second because I got time today. <clears throat> If you see questionable tags by these players, it's more than likely they're not. I, I don't see you up get, I don't see you upgrading to play last game of the season. These guys don't care, especially these guys that are not going into the playoffs. Why why would you get motivated to go play the last game of the season and you're not going anywhere? Don't see Jordan Poole playing. If he doesn't, the value opens up. Garland, okay, play. Don't think he plays the whole game. Hero. Doesn't need to play the full game. Neither does Levert. Kobe White. Nope. Doesn't need to play the full game either. I think they're set. Pull out my <clears throat> seeding chart. Because seeding absolutely matters on this slate. Because some players are playing for something. Some players are playing for nothing. Um. 
um, conference, Chicago. I think Chicago is locked in. Chicago is locked in. They don't need to play. They don't really need to play um, Kobe White. The some no neither. They're locked in. They don't need to risk injuries to these guys. And on top of that, the Knicks are a tough matchup. So expect more Dale and Terry, um, Torrey Craig, the, 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 the Bulls bench players. Okay, I, those bench players were amazing yesterday. Do you think they do the same thing to the Knicks? Probably not, but they're probably going to be the best place, to be honest with you. All of them. Um, Carter's in play. Just just, just so we know what, what we're talking about. Um, Terry. They, they probably start bit him again, but just play Terry. He should start also. Javante Green. I don't think they're going to play Javante Green as much as they play Terry. Because Javante Green is, they actually start him from time to time. So be very careful with Green. And he's 4,800. But he's a good play. I'm not going to tell you he's not a good play. Um, Torrey Craig, obviously. And then Sanago. My man had like 20 and 20. Something like that. You know what I'm saying? I honestly faded him because he wasn't started. And still was able to get the takedown. So um, I'm, I wouldn't make that same mistake twice. But I had Terry and I had Terry and um Terry and Green and everything. Um, <clears throat> let's go back to point guard. So be be prepared to play a lot of Bulls. Um. Uh, who else is here? So we're at the Sumno Trey Man. Trey Man should get full run. What you've seen Charlotte do is. They bench the, 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 the starters, everyone except for man. Do they do that again? Why do you need to see man so much? If Lamelo's coming back, a lot of questions. I don't know what Charlotte's doing. That's just me. I don't know. I don't have no inside information. Uh, Ty, Tri, Tyus Jones, no thank you. Probably not going to play McConnell. Do you need to play McConnell a lot? Um, You know what? They are playing for seeding. Indiana is playing for seeding. They probably play him as regular minutes. Mitchich, no thank you. Pritchard, don't. Pritchard, Pritchard is not going to play a lot of minutes. Pritchard's probably going to play the first half, 20, 21 minutes. Identical. He played what? 30. This was last night. He played 31 minutes. Don't see him playing crazy minutes against Washington. When they're set, you see what I'm saying. I'm only just trying to use a little bit of sense. I don't. I don't know what they're gonna do. I wouldn't. I'd. Be, he could pay off his his salary in 24 minutes. You know what I'm saying, but still very risky. What I would do if I was playing multiple lineups, I throw Pritchard in one or two of them. But if I play one lineup, I probably wouldn't put in Pritchard because why would they play him 31 minutes again in the last game of the season? These questions you got to ask yourself. Yeah, this, this is hard, but these are the things you got to do if you want to play. <clears throat> Orlando. Orlando looks like they're playing proceeding too. They're sitting in fifth. Wait, they're tied. It's a three-way tie. They're fifth. Indiana sixth. Philly seventh. Miami's eighth. Chicago's ninth. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Still not interested. I'm um, not interested in Beverly, Anthony, Lowry, Freeman. The reason, Butler is in play. Jared Butler, 4.4. He's gonna come. He's gonna come in, and he's probably gonna come off the bench. But don't let that scare you away. He's gonna get minutes, and he's gonna um. He, he's gonna be active. Twenty nine minutes off the bench. Ten assists, one rebound, two steals. Jared Butler's absolutely in play. Um. So we got the Bulls bench players are the the the, the backup Bulls. You got Butler. Um. The rest of these guys you probably don't need. You don't need you gotta be really tactical in this on this slate, just like the last slate. <clears throat> the 
Brandon Miller probably won't play a full a full game, so I'm gonna probably fade him. After what we seen last game, Di Vincenzo's in play. Mikel Bridges, embarrassment. He do, he's not even playing. Like I don't understand why Cam Thomas could play a full game, but he can't play a full game. One for five, no rebounds. You know what? You know what rebounds are? Rebounds are an effort stat. I tell you this all the time. Look at this: 22, 17, 18, and thirteen. No, no pride, no dignity, no integrity, no nothing. Just out there flailing around. <clears throat> they need to trade him. They need to trade him somewhere. Really, no effort. There's G leaguers that will come in and play with more effort. Embarrassment, disgrace. I came into this season liking Mikael Bridges and Halliburton, and these two guys. Like I wouldn't even spit on them if they were on fire. Like I don't even know what 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 drives these guys to do anything. Bunch of bozos. Who else is here? I got time today. Who else is here? Cause I'm getting mad. Thirteen fantasy points in a whole NBA game. I'm getting paid millions. Pfft, what a turd. Who else is here? Um. Who else? Kelly Oubre? Nope, not with a beat on the floor. No, thank you. Gary Trent. Don't see him playing a full game. Kispert. You could probably take a shot. Still don't see him playing a full game. For what? He's an integral piece to next year, right? You would think so. Sam Hauser, you could take a shot on him if he starts. Snee Smith in play. Grady Dixon in play. Um, nah, you don't need to play any of these guys. No, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. Maybe Springer. You want to play Jaden Springer? Twenty-five minutes, thirty fantasy points. Jaden Springer's going to play. He's going to start. You know he's going to play the whole game. You got to look for players like that. Cheap players, not very, not too important to the playoffs, and it's going to get full run. Um, These guys aren't playing. Tatum, Brown, DeRozan, get them out of here. Butler. Butler. Butler doesn't really need to go crazy hard, though. He really doesn't. 8,200, Miami. Miami sitting in the eighth seed. He's in play, but I don't think he has to play. He, don't have, he doesn't have to go crazy. Same thing with Siakam. Avdia. How many minutes did Avdia play? 38 minutes. Last game, very tricky. If you're playing a few lineups, I'll throw Avdia in one. Middleton, no thank you. You know he's injury prone. They're gonna sit him. Then I even if he plays, he's not gonna play the whole game. Maybe the first half, just to keep him warmed up. Bogdanovich. Bogdanovich doesn't need to play nothing crazy. They're locked into the play in. Um, <clears throat> Josh Hartson play. No Tobias for me. Franz Wagner. He's in play. DeAndre Hunter, you could take a shot. OG is in play. Javante Green, we spoke about. The rest of these guys are not going to be touching. We already have like a handful of plays that we know we could definitely go to. Um, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to be real disciplined when playing because you might want to play players that might look good, or you might have a lot of extra money left over. But if they're not going to get their full run, don't do it to yourself. Before we go to Power Forward, if you're new here, welcome. Appreciate you taking the time to watch my video. If you're not subscribed, subscribe, hit the bell, thumbs up the video. Absolutely important. If you're struggling to cash or you're trying to you're trying to get yourself ready for the playoffs and you want me to help you with, with some of my lineups, you want me to send you my lineups right before lock, you can check out the Patreon link in the description. We have all types of tiers. We do MLB. We're doing MLB right now as we speak. We do NBA, PGA, MMA. We're doing everything. Um, so if that's something you're interested in. You don't have time to wait for lineups. You don't have time to wait for news. You want me to just send you out the lineups before lock? I can do that. Patreon link in the description. We have channel memberships. Silver and gold channel memberships get you lineups also. And we do have super chats open. Okay, power forward. Power forward. 
Now, you see, this is why people don't play these last few games because there's a lot of work. There's a lot of homework to be done before you can just play. You can't just pick players and go. That's why you got people like me. You see what I'm saying? Okay, Bancaro, 860 is an okay play. Like I said, anybody questionable, most likely isn't playing. Miles Bridges, no thank you. Absolutely not. RJ Barrett, you could probably take a shot on, but I don't see him playing the whole game either. Mobley could probably hit value in 25 minutes. Mobley's in play 7,700. Bobby Portis is absolutely in play. I was kind of scared of his minutes, but I had no, I had nowhere to put him anyway. I had, I ran out of space because I had so many other plays. Um, he only played 21 minutes, so that worked out. Milwaukee is locked in. No, they're not. They're second. Nope, they're tied with the Knicks. They're still not going to play him 40 minutes. They're going to play him 21 minutes again if he starts. So, not interested in all that. Um, Cam Johnson, no thank you. Jordan Nora, if he started for some reason, maybe they let him let him rip. Agbaji, okay plays, nothing spectacular. Watford, if he starts, he's in play. Clowney, if he starts, he's in play. Okay, and let's go to center. This is a very specific slate. I, I keep saying it because sometimes people don't listen. Like, I'm not saying anybody. I'm just saying sometimes people don't listen to what I'm saying. It's a very specific slate. If you want to win, you got to you got to narrow down your players that you know are going to play, and keep your player pool tight. I'm, I promise you. You know, I promise you. And <clears throat> like I said, I've seen I seen lineups last night that before my lineup was in the cashing, before it was cashing, I knew I was cashing. Because I've seen some of the plays the other players were playing. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's easy to fall into the rabbit hole. You know what I'm saying? Just be real careful. I like Embiid on this slate. First of all, you got a lot of value where you can um where you can roster him. And Philly is playing for seeding. And Embiid could give you 60 fantasy points in 30 minutes. We all know that. And his team is okay just letting him take all the shots. So that works out in our favor. Um Bam, okay play, rather play MB. Jared Allen, 8K, okay play, rather play Mobley. Vooch probably won't play. Claxton, you can take a shot on. Not really interested in him because Embiid absorbs a lot of fouls. All he knew, all he needs is two quick ones, and this night is over. Kelly Olynyk, not really interested in Kelly Olynyk. He played twenty five minutes, twenty eight fantasy points. I'm not, I'm not against him, but I don't think we need him. Miles Turner's in play. You could take a shot. Brooke Lopez, no thank you, especially on DraftKings. Um, no Jalen Smith. No Mo Bamba. Cornette, if he starts, you could take that shot. He played 25 minutes last night, 34 fantasy points. So if Cornette starts, you could take that shot. Um, Malik Williams should get minutes. 19 minutes for fantasy points. If they want to play Kelly Kel- Kel- Olenek all day long, so I guess Mikey, I guess um, Malik Williams won't get those minutes. But I'm assuming Malik Williams will get some more minutes. But I'm not going to roster him on assumptions. I need to see, like, okay, him starting. I need to see him starting, to be honest with you. Goga's probably going to start and be a decent play at 4K because, well, they put him in yesterday because of Embiid. But, you know what, I need Embiid. I need Goga to start. Wendell Carter is out. Wendell Carter might be out because he got hurt. And... They started Goga in the second half, but like I said, that's because of Embiid. If Goga starts the game, he's fine. If he doesn't start, I'm not going to play him. The no go is probably a lock, to be honest with you. Tougher matchup, but like I tell you, rebounds are an effort stat. 18 shots, 20 rebounds, 9 free, th- free throw attempts. That's amazing. He's going to be very popular because people are going to Game log watch. Um, I think that's about it, to be honest with you. I think we have more than enough players to 
build decent lineups. And like I said, this is going to be the most specific slate of the year. Keep your player pool tight. Be disciplined. And um, pay attention to the news. You got it. You can't. You can't build a lineup and then walk away. You can't build a lineup and then, you know, go to target. You can't. You can't do that. This is if you're going to play DFS, you got to be all in. You feel what I'm saying? That's the difference between on this slate, on this slate. Yeah, we put up 400 on, on DraftKings. How do you put up 400 on DraftKings? You got to wait for news. Got to wait for information. Information is key. You know what I'm saying? Some people want to just make Bill Lighter should leave and then wonder why things didn't work out. You know what I'm saying? That's not how it goes. You got If you're going to play, you got to be all in. If you just listen to what I just said, you'll cash. If you pay attention to the news... Right up until lock, you'll cash. Because these lineups build themselves. I'm not no I'm not no wizard. You know what I'm saying? These lineups build themselves. I, I repeat the same things over and over and over and over again because you guys watch my videos, you like my videos, you subscribe, you join my Patreon. We all one we all one family. We all one team. I want us all to win. That's why I keep repeating the same things over and over and over again. Because it's what I do to win. And I'm going to leave it like that. Listen, I'm going to go on and get out of here. Appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my video on a nice and uh, beautiful Saturday afternoon. We got MMA going right now. We got MLB going right now. Um, What else we got? I think that's it for right now. Listen, hope you have a profitable weekend. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell, thumbs up the video. Check out the Patreon link in the description if you need me to send you finalized optimal lineups for any sport, any slate. Channel memberships are open. Silver memberships, gold memberships do get you lineups also. Super chats are alive and well. And I'll talk to you guys later. Ciao.